Hey guys, can you flip and believe how much things have gotten in this world? So, I'm uh, doing my architect plans and the engineering plans, right? My goodness, architect plans cost me $6,000. Then, I got with the engineer and even though all, almost all the work has been done, uh, engineer is saying he wants uh, seven thousand dollars. This is just for flipping plans. I got to take all that information to the county, and guess what? The county wants five to six thousand dollars for the permits to do a platform to do the base of the dome. It's going to cost ten to fourteen thousand dollars. Pretty easy. So anyway, point is, is don't take building a new place lightly and do your best to find alternative routes so I will be sharing some of those alternative routes as I find it so what I mean is as an example I just spoke to an old contractor he said you know what I never uh, hired an architect here's what I did I went to a college a university that did architectural program and I got those architects to do the plans for me and I had the engineers from the engineering school to do the engineering for me. And then I just took those documents and had the engineer stamp it for approval or say, no, you need to do something else. And you save thousands just doing that. Well, I'm already stuck when it comes to the architectural plan, but when it comes to the engineering side, you better believe that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna to go to a local engineering school here in Florida and I'm gonna have somebody look at this architectural plan and say, okay, how do I fix this and rate this for a category five hurricane? And as soon as you get that done for me, uh, let's draw it up, I'll pay you a few hundred bucks and then I'm gonna get with the engineer and then we'll give it to the county. So anyway, I'm not whining that everything costs so much. I am frustrated. Uh, and I've waited a very long time. You know, we bought this land before COVID. We got it for a pretty decent price. Then COVID happened and I said, okay, let's build something. Well, what I didn't realize is that prices of everything went skyrocket high. Mosquito. Skyrocket high um, right from the get-go, right? Right from the time that um, they said, oh, COVID is uh, around, they wound up saying, oh, let's charge four times the price. So cost of goods just went through the roof. So I said, okay, no, I'm not paying this. I'll wait till everything goes down. Well, some things have gone down, uh, but um, not enough. So this is why I've decided that I'm gonna be a do-it-yourself guy and I'm going to be building almost this entire dome by myself. Good news for me and people like me who want the same thing, here in the state of Florida they do allow you to be your own contractor. You just have to sign a release form saying if I kill myself it's up to me. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, the dome's coming along, the architectural plans are almost done. I now have the plan for what I'm going to do for the engineers. I have already reached out to the hemp guys and I got a really good price on hemp that I'm going to be able to pass along to you guys uh, whenever you're ready for your dome. Now if you're going to want to hear about this journey, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be updating as often as possible uh, to let you know what's going on in the world of the hemp geo, oh, it's not a geodesic dome. Uh, I looked at so many geodesic domes. It's a rib dome, and that's how we're doing it with Hemp Creek. Anyway, guys, uh, that's an update and my little rant for the day. Uh, if you want to circumnavigate some of the costs that the world is still rising, uh, then do it yourself, and I will show you how I'm doing it myself along the way. Peace out.